Okay, I'll make video for you, and we'll have a remote mic, so the, the camera will be far away, so you can see the overall impression, but the remote mic will give you very intimate sound quality, so you can listen to your speaking. You can hear your speaking better than the audience can hear it. And if you want to improve your English speaking, that's the technology you want to start using, is intimate level recording. So you can hear the small variations of sound, differences between you and the models that you have selected for your speaking practice. Like a TED talk, for example. Okay. I spent all my time on the PowerPoint and I didn't spend any time on practice. So my, and these are 15 second slides, so I just. 15 seconds, get used to it. Lots of people will say, What language do you speak? Or what language do you know? I'm an analog language learner. I was born before the days of digital. And all my learning took place in the analog days. Unlike you who are digital natives, I'm a digital immigrant. So when I learned languages over the years, I used paper dictionaries, which are heavy and occupy space, but they don't require batteries. But if you're learning very many languages, it's not very convenient. The same problem persisted when electronic dictionaries came on the scene. They're very useful. They're much faster than paper dictionary, although you might find them very slow. Uh, but still the problem persisted. Multiple dictionaries, multiple machines. Now, with the iPod Touch, I've got 14 dictionaries in here, and it doesn't weigh any more than when I bought it. All kinds of dictionaries, some of them free, some of them you pay and they're better. Uh, but the dictionaries are wise in the iPod Touch. If I highlight a word in a blog, the machine knows which dictionary to look it up in. It's fantastic. And now, even better, this is beyond the dictionary issue, as a language learner, I can get content in many different languages, very interesting, current, free, and immediately usable in my dictionary mode. So the iPod touches everything. It's small, it's wired, it's clever, and it's rich. Thank you very much.